Hi, I'm Rick Rowland. I'm the owner and the engineer for Certified Refrigerant Services. We're here today, we're going to show you the required materials and equipment in order to retrofit a uh, R22 AC system over to 407C with SuperChange in it. So this is our product, Summit Plus 407C with SuperChange. The SuperChange ingredient is in this refrigerant, so it's ready to go for this retrofit. But this is an old unit that we've got. It's a uh, Ream 5-ton unit. We're going to show you step by step the, the pieces that are needed, the equipment that you need, and we'll go through the entire process uh, at, today to show you how to, to get that done. So to start out, uh, with every can of 407 from Summit Plus, uh, on the side here in a package, we have all the things that are needed as far as, there's a technician's guide in here, inside there it shows the eight steps to the installation. It does give you a place where you can record the before and after data, so you can record how it ran with R22, and then how it's running with 407C with super change in it. But inside there also, we got a couple other things. Uh, we do have a, a label, so when you get done, you know, you're going to write in the date, the amount of refrigerant, the technician's name, and the company, and you're going to put this inside in a place that's a little bit out of the weather to record that we have put 407C with super change in this unit. The other thing that's included in the, the package says is a, a, a tie wrap, and it does say R407C super change. So we tear one of these off and we're going to put it around the suction line to help identify that this unit has been retrofitted from R22 to 407C with super change. So as we go through this, we want to take a look at our list here. These are the things that we need to get this job done. So if we start taking a look at the things on our list, we need a refrigerant recover unit to recover the R22. We need a recovery cylinder keep that refrigerant. Uh, we need a scale because we're going to weigh the refrigerant that we took out. We're also going to weigh the 407C that we put in. Um, we also have a, a micron gauge to make sure that when we use our vacuum pump and pump this down that we've got it pulled down completely. Uh, the other thing we have here is our yellow jacket system analyzer gauges. That helps us to quickly determine the superheat and subcooling as we uh, retrofit this unit. We also have our labels, like we said, so that we can label when we get done, uh, so that everybody knows that this Summit Plus 407C is the product that's in this now. Too many times a technician walks up to a unit and uh, you don't really know the refrigerant that is in the unit, so we're going to work hard to let them know, including the, the tie wrap, that this unit has got 407C with super change in it. So um, Harley is going to be our technician here today. Uh, we are going to go through the steps one by one. And the one thing we will do when we get done, uh, this is another piece that we have. It's a the retrofit data sheet. We're going to record uh, the unit make and model number, the ambient temperature, the temperatures and pressures, superheat, subcooling before and after. And then we're going to submit this form so that we can begin to gather more and more data about the effectiveness of R407C with super change. So we'll start now. Uh, our unit is off, but we'll show you step by step. First thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to follow the technician's guide. And we'll take those eight steps, and uh, Harley and I will do them one by one, and we'll start out uh, and go right through these steps. So we'll keep going, and we'll do it starting one to eight, and then we'll be all done. So I'm back here with Harley Jackson. He's going to be the technician that's going to take care of this. I'm going to kind of talk us through it as we do the eight steps uh, in the installation of the product. So uh, we'll get started first. The very first thing we're going to do is to record the system data before the retrofit. So we'll, uh, Harley will hook up our gauges to it. We're going to take some uh, data and we'll record that as the before or pre-data before the retrofit, just so we know how this system runs with R22 in it. So we'll do that first. We're back here with a Harley. Um, we've connected our system analyzer set of gauges. We did uh, make sure that we had the gauges set for R22 and we hooked it up to the um, suction port and the discharge port. We're going to let it run for a few minutes. 
and see what the um, numbers are and we'll record that data. We can see the gauges there. Wait and let this system stabilize, and then we're going to record the data as our pre data, saying how it ran with R22. So we'll let it stabilize, and then we'll continue on. Okay, we're back here again with Harley, and that we've let the unit run for a couple minutes, so let it stabilize. So we're going to write these numbers down. We're going to take a good look at the gauges. We'll write the numbers down and um, record them as our pre retrofit data. So. That's step one. We're going to take this sheet and that's where we'll put the data. We'll put the suction pressure and the discharge pressure. We're also going to write the superheat and subcooling down because we got that coming directly from the gauges. So we'll write all that down as our R22 pre retrofit data. So that's step one. We'll go to step two, which is to hook up and recover that refrigerant. Step one's complete. Okay, so we're back again. Uh, we're going to take a look at our easy installations and, and right here it says in step two what well, the step two we're going to do is to recover the refrigerant so that's what we're set up to do also in here if we just look at step three it says uh, install a new liquid line dryer if you're going to and it's a good time to do that because we're going to have the system down but in this case we're not going to do that today but let's see we are hooked up we got our gauges still hooked up we're hooked up to a recovery unit which is hooked up to a recovery tank and we do have our scale set it's at zero pounds we'll be able to see exactly how much gas we take out of the unit so we got it shut down and we'll go ahead and start up the recovery unit and pull all that R22 out of the system. Okay we're back here with Harley and he's working on step four which is to evacuate the system. What do you got Harley? We got 370 microns right now Okay. System's in a nice deep vacuum. Ready to move on to step five. We're step charge five. the system. Okay. Step five. We'll show you when we weigh in the scale, how much we put in. And about how much did you get out of it? Did you get 10 pounds we got or? About 10 to 12, 10 to 10 12 pounds. Okay. We'll write that in our report and we'll start to charge it back up as step five. Thank you. Okay, we're back again with Harley. The, um, the step five was to, to charge the system back up. Okay. We're going to weigh in 90% of the charge from the beginning. We've got it on a scale. We okay. have a separate tear weight to see how much we put in. Make sure we put in 90% of the 10 pounds we've recovered. So initially, if you took out 10, you're going to put back in about 9 pounds. Step 6, we're going to start and run the system. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll check back in after it's run and stabilized with 90% of the gas. Okay, we're back again. We've let it run for a few minutes to stabilize and we've got our machine, our gauges set for 407C. And we um, take a look at what we got. The superheat's a little bit high, the subcooling is fine, but we think we the 90% is not hardly enough refrigerant. So we're going to Put a little bit more refrigerant in it. So we'll write these numbers down and we keep going. Hopefully get the super heat closer to 20 degrees. Okay, we've added some more refrigerant. We got about 20.6 on the superheat, 8.8 .8 on the subcooling, 
55 is a high side and 55 is the low side. Those are some pretty nice numbers. So we're going to write that down as our post retrofit numbers with 407C. Those numbers look really good. Uh, we'll write down the amperage uh, and we'll have all the data that we need. And then we'll go back to putting the labels on. So that's our step six to start and run. So we really like the numbers. We'll keep going. This is kind of our final numbers. This just look good. Okay, we're back with Harley again. We, we're we going to talk about what step seven and step eight would be. So step seven in our guide says to record the data. Show us what we got here. Okay, so we got all the data that says that our suction pressures, our discharge pressures, our super uh, heat, our subcooling, the amperages. We've got all that written down and so, okay, we've done a good job of recording the data after the retrofit. Now one of the things you want to be sure is that somebody that walks up to this unit knows that it's got 407C with super change. So you're going to put your label. It says today's date and how much weight you put in it, the company, the phone number, and who did it. You're going to put that someplace that, so we can so we can find that later. All right. Put it someplace that's maybe out of the weather so somebody could see it. That's good. The other thing that you're going to do is put that big bold tie wrap around the service valve so that somebody that comes here in the future they're going to see and that tie wrap says 407C with super change charged. Okay, good. So anybody who comes to hook up the gauges on this in the future will know what refrigerant is in it. So then the only thing we have is it says that set step eight was to label as we did. Um, I think we're all set. So um, just in summary, what would you say, Harley, about that? You know, we um, took the 22 out. Took the 22 out, put the 407 in. We have good results from the pre-retrofit to the 407 we added with super change. We see no capacity loss. We actually dropped one degree of temperature. Other than that, all of our amps, they all stayed about the same. There's no reason we have anything that's any different from the 22 to the 407. It's a good replacement. Okay, good. So your indoor temperature, you had one more degree of temperature drop inside yeah. uh, than we had before. So we just are saying that it's really a good equal, and that's true in your opinion? That is very true. Okay, good. We well, thank you. If you wouldn't lay that tech, uh, that guide, the eight-step guide down by it, just lay it down there. I'm going to take a look at it. Okay. So in each box, there's the the guide is included. Included in every box, right? along with the labels and that big bright orange tie wrap. Let's say it's got 407C with super change in it. Okay.